The next activity is taken from Stella Cottrell's book, Critical Thinking Skills. What you have to do is read through the passage on the next slide, try and identify the author's position. Firstly, skim quickly over the passage and note down your first impressions, aiming to capture the author's position, the main message of that passage. Then follow up that skim read by reading more closely. Check if you were right. This reading gives you an idea of how accurately you can capture a message when you read at speed. And then you can check your answers on slide 14. So let me give you a few minutes now to skim read that passage and then I'll read it through for you more slowly and you can think about what the main message is, what you think the author's position is. OK, I'll read that through with you slowly. It was initially believed that young children could not understand other people's points of view or undertake tasks such as counting and measuring until they were at least seven years of age. However, it seems the problem does not lie in children's capacity to do these things so much as their understanding of what's been asked and why. If there's no obvious purpose or they do not understand the language used, children perform tasks formerly considered too advanced for them as long as these are set up in ways that make sense to them. Problems that involve teddies or drinks, for example, may be meaningful to a very young child, whereas tasks with counters and beakers are not. See if you can jot down what you think the overall argument is of that short passage. Well, the answer is that the author's position is that even young children can perform tasks considered too advanced for them as long as these are set up in ways that make sense to them. Did you have something similar? If you didn't, go back and have a look and see if you can see that that's the main message of that passage. The passage supports this position by arguing that children perform better if the tasks presented in language they can understand.